Hello friends and welcome back to All on Law. Guys, this is a YouTube channel dedicated for a medical student, nursing student, pharmacy student and even for a dental student and even for those physicians who want to appear for postgraduate studies. We have more than 500 medical video lectures in our channel on a different medical topics. Right now we are covering on topics on anatomy and pathology recently we have we started uploading a videos on cardiology ophthalmology and nephrology guys we need your support we need your love we need your feedback if you like our videos please hit the button like and please do share our videos with your friends so today's topic is gonna be a very important topic on a gross anatomy on a gross anatomy that's popliteal fossa that's a popliteal fossa okay guys so I'm gonna talk about briefly about the popliteal fossa and uh, this is a important topic for your USMLE step 1 USMLE step 1 and even for a uh, primary medical board examinations and even for medical students appearing for anatomy so let me start a discussion on this let me make it clear with the colorful presentation so let us see actually where this what do you call actually I'm not good at dra uh, this drawing then we have the different videos so if this is a leg and these are the toes okay and this is a knee joint if this is a knee joint then the popliteal fossa comes over here this is gonna be a popliteal fossa okay guys so it's a kind of a diamond shaped what do you call uh, area and it has a, a clinical significance so this is the popliteal fossa popliteal fossa okay guys so let's start a discussion on this and I will tell you the boundaries contents okay the popliteal fossa the popliteal fossa is a diamond shaped okay so it can be a diamond shaped it, you can draw like this okay it's a diamond shaped area bounded by a muscle that's a f what do you call muscle let me take a color of muscle okay brownish let me take the color okay muscles the muscle that is bounded superior laterally if we consider this is a lateral here and this is a lateral then means superior laterally by biceps femoris so there's a muscle that is called as a biceps okay guys so we're gonna name this muscle as biceps femoris this is a lateral okay this is a lateral and this is medial here you get superior laterally by biceps femoris okay so let's start with the biceps femoris this is about the biceps femoris and what do you call it the semi tendinous and semi membranous are bounded but there are two muscles they are bounded what do you call medially that is a superior medially here there are two muscles okay very simple very okay so here you can name this as semi 
membranous it's a muscle okay membranous and semi tendinous okay tendinous okay so this is semi membranous and semi tendinous the two heads of the muscles bounded inferior inferiorly that is inferior laterally and inferior medially that's nothing but the muscle that is castronemus okay it has two heads mm -hmm. and they go like this and the, these two heads but the muscle is one that is gastronemus gastronomous this one is a medial head and this one is a lateral head okay so they are bounded by inferior laterally inferior medially right good now the floor of this fossa is formed by popliteal surface of the femur remember i'm talking about the floor so floor is bounded from superior to inferior from superior to inferior okay from superior to inferior, from front to backwards we are going is the popliteal surface of the femur okay the knee joint capsule and the popliteal muscle the popliteal muscle gonna be the last one over here okay shall I draw this okay let me draw this you can draw over here a muscle okay this is gonna be a popliteal muscle okay so this is the floor within the fossa from posterior to anterior are the tibial nerve popliteal vein and the popliteal artery this is very important let's talk about the popliteal what do you call let me take this uh, what do you call uh, um, nerve that's from we are talking from a posterior to anterior backwards to anterior okay the tibial nerve okay from a tibial nerve let's talk here make it this tibial nerve here it runs here tibial nerve this is tibial nerve okay this is gonna be tibial nerve let me name this one as tibial nerve okay T N tibial nerve right so now we have a popliteal what do you call um, popliteal vein first from posterior to anterior is a tibial nerve then we have popliteal vein okay let's move on to the popliteal vein let me make a blue one for a vein we have popliteal vein okay so this is gonna be a popliteal vein and this is popliteal vein okay so now we have the another one that's a popliteal artery okay so this is gonna be a popliteal artery right so very important things you should remember note the artery is the deepest structure and the closest to the femur so it may endangered by a fracture of the supracondylar region of the femur so femur okay so I think you know very well about this one uh, if there's a fracture of the uh, supracondylar region of the femur then it can uh, injure the popliteal artery and the popliteal is the main artery for the lower leg so if it get breaks then there will be heavy bleeding and the complications hemodynamically the patient will go unstable and so many complications you can see this a type of injury in uh, what you call um, accidents car accidents okay in um, um, motorcycle accidents or a trauma okay so the common perineal nerve if you know the common perineal nerve it comes like this and goes actually from here over here okay for the biceps here it goes it goes like this this is common perineal nerve okay this is a common perineal nerve very important nerve supply for sensory supply for a lower leg okay the common perineal nerve is in the lateral part of the fossa and lies against the tendon of bicep femoris okay so common perineal nerve wraps around the lateral surface of the fibular neck here is a fibula you can see your here is comes a fibula okay if this is a fibula bone it's actually a bone okay fibula right 
so I'm not changing the color so it wraps around this okay it wraps around this and goes like that so um, so if there's any damage to the what you call a fibula if there's any damage to the fibula then it can cause damage to the common perineal nerve so there will be loss of supply for nervous supply to the lower leg so this is the two important points you should remember one is the popliteal artery and the common perineal nerve the popliteal artery because it winds around the supracondylar region of the what you call uh, femur if there's a fracture of that then it can endanger the what you call uh, popliteal artery and this common perineal nerve lies in the biceps femoris area comes around downwards and wraps around the fibula and if there is any fracture of the fibula head of the fibula then it can endanger or it can cause a trauma to the CPN and it causes loss of sensation and supply of CPN to the lower line. Okay guys, this is all about those popliteal fossa. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.